welcome to today's video. Um, hi YouTube, welcome to today's video. I am doing the ultimate book tag. This is gonna be a video I'm going to love filming. I look through these questions, I actually already have my answers, but I think it'll be a fun tag to do just because it's some really cool questions, I feel like. Do I have my hand dandy in a notebook? Which I went through with all the answers in. So let's get started. Um, the first question is, do you get sick while writing while reading in a car? And the answer is no. I do actually do it all the time. Like I do it on a daily-ish basis. So I feel like I never if I do get sick, I think it's because I'm already already sick. Um, question numero dos, um, which Arthur's writing style is completely unique to you and why? Um, I said the author of Wonder, I don't know how to pronounce their names, like PJ Placo, Pla Placo, it's one of them and I don't know how to pronounce it. And I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Number three, Harry Potter and Harry Potter or the Twilight Saga get three points to defend your answer. Neither. Um, I'm not a big romance fan. For number one, I don't like a lot of fantasy. And um, while well, it's not super high fantasy, it's just after the third book, I it it becomes too much. Um, and for I decide whether I read or three. <laughs> Number three, I decide whether I read. Um, most of the time. Number four, do you carry a book bag? If so, what do you have inside? I do carry a book bag. I carry one for school, so I just go and throw a book in there most days. Some days I don't have like the room for it because I'm bringing like a camera to film something at school, or um. I have to bring stuff for a project, so it's in the room. So then I'll just read a book on my phone, which I actually did today. Um, but besides that, um, um, I carry my book bag, um, my stuff for school, and Rubik's cubes. Um, fun fact: I can solve this in about ten minutes. Some most times less than ten minutes. So I think that's really cool. Um, it's fun to do them. So I normally have one in my backpack. Um, yeah. So number five, do you smell your books? Sometimes. It depends on how much I love a book, like with the selection series. I love this book to death and I've smelled it 25,000 times. Here we go, let's do one more. Okay, next. Do you draw, wait, books with or without illustrations? Both. Um, I say both because I love Harry Potter and Harry Potter's illustrations. But there are also books that don't have any illustrations in them, and I love them just as much. Um, sometimes I feel like illustrations stay away from the story, but sometimes I feel like they add to it. Like, in, not this is not shaming the author of the book at all. But I'm just saying like the pictures, or not the pictures, but like the designs, because I do like drawing like mandolins or not mandevilles, stuff like that, you know, like just random lines and squir squirrels and stuff like that. Um, in the Sagan's Way, um, I, it, I feel like it, it distracts me because it's something I actually like really drawing, so I like looking, like looking at other people's. That's just, that's a personal thing. That's no shame to the author or the book or the art designers or anything. That's just a personal thing for me. So yeah. Um, number seven. Um, um, what did you love reading, but then discover wasn't quality writing? Um, my answer is a selection. I don't care that it's not quality writing. I just, I don't really care and I love it so much. I love it in, in spite of the fact that it has and because of the fact that it is flawed. Number eight, do you have any funny stories of having 
involving stories from your childhood. Oh, uh, so when I was in seventh grade, so about three years ago, I was in science class. I don't know what book I was reading, probably Percy Jackson, because that's when I read them. Seventh and eighth grade, yeah. So I was probably reading that or like one of the Harry Potter books, most likely. Um, first or second. Um, and I did my science work. And she was helping kids do all the reading because I was done and I understood it. She was like, okay, we are going to get back to work on your story. And she stopped and was like, okay, great. Started working again. Finished. Uh, she was helping another group of kids. I was good. And I was reading. And she's like, this happened five times. And she's like, Mary, if you don't stop reading, I'm, like, I'm going to take a book. She's like, but I'm like, no, I, I finished what you're doing. I thought it would be fine. So, yeah, I got my book taken until the end of class for that. Fun times. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that was fun. Number nine, what is the thinnest book on your bookshelf? And that would be Seed Folks, I'm pretty sure. Number 10, what is the thickest book on your bookshelf? And I'm going to say that's Beautiful Creatures. Um, so, yeah. Um, but on my red shelf, I'm going to say it's Divergent or Looking for Alaska. We'll see what's thickest. Yeah, Divergent or Looking for Alaska. Um, when did you get into reading? I didn't get into reading until, like, last summer. I wasn't a big reader up until last school year so i was a i really loved reading as a kid but when they introduced ar um i started to hate reading again so i didn't really do much of it so yeah that's what happened there um i actually skipped question, question by mistake and it's do you write as well as read do you usually see yourself writing uh in the future be being an author and I said, I do write, I don't write actual, I don't write books, I write songs. I love music, I love it so much, I I have four guitars. I'm a little obsessive for how long I've been playing, I've only been playing for about six years now. And, um, so yeah, I started in fourth grade. Um, I love guitar so much, I love the instrument, I love the way you can play on it, I also play, I also dabble, dab, like dabble as I know notes on the piano. Um, <laughs> dabble on a little bit of piano. Um, so yeah, um, I do write, but I don't, um, I do not see myself becoming an author. I might publish music, but I do not think I'll ever become an author for a book. Unless it's like a biography. So yeah. Um, what is your favorite classic book? Mine would have to be Outsiders. I love The Outsiders so much. Um, if you haven't read it, read Outsiders by Essie Hen, I strongly recommend it. It was amazing. I really liked it. It um, represented minorities versus majorities very well. And so, yeah. Um, and in school, in school was your best subject ELA or English language arts? Um, no, not until last year it was. Um, mainly because I like the teacher and she understood my thinking, my thought process, and a lot of teachers don't because I think in a very weird way. I know, okay. I know it's weird. We can get over it. Um, but yeah, that, not till recently. Okay. If you were given the book as a present that you had read, that you read before and hated it, what would you do? Um, I said for this one, because it was a really weird one, I said I would keep it and hate read it and then just mark in all the pages. And so, yeah. Also, if you're my friend and you got me a book that I hated, you must not be a true friend because you would be on Goodreads. So yeah, just putting that out there. Um, it, what is a lesser known series that you uh, that you know is similar to Harry Potter's or Hunger Games? Um, I can't really think of one. Um. I don't normally read smaller series, especially since I'm like new, uh, getting back into reading a lot, and I'm only like 15. I don't know a lot of big, ser smaller series. Um, 
most of the stuff I do read is like, like comparing to Hunger Games. Um, I don't know a lot. I don't, I didn't even like Hunger Games. I love Divergent. A plus on that. Um, smaller series. Um, but um, what is it? Or the Giver? The Giver was sort of like divergent in a way. Um, cause if you've read it, you know it, I'm actually about to spoil something. So my hand is up. So I've actually saw this on someone else's. I can't remember their name. Oh my goodness. I just started watching her videos like a couple weeks ago, but my hands, when my hand comes down, that means that I'm done talking about this and you can come back, but there was something that Tim Perry didn't want me to talk about it, so hand is up, you have five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, now when the sand goes down, you can come back, I just don't want to spoil anything, okay, I'm starting, so, and Divergent, um, you know, how they have to switch strength factions and all that, and they have to go through training and all of that good stuff, and Triss has to basically learn how to control her divergent. Well, I don't remember his name, it's been a couple of years since I've read the book now, but he, the main character, Jillian, I'm pretty sure something like that, he has to, use an, he uses an apple, you know how he uses the apple to, um, act like his blood um to get his injections so like, he can actually receive them like they got act he has to act like he's still getting the injections yeah there we go um i'm done now guys um number 17 what is a reading habit what is a bad habit you always do um I burnt my nails a lot. My mom would yell at me for it all the time. Number 18. What is your favorite word? Bazinga! 19. You're a nerd. Are you a nerd, dork, or dweeb? Or are you a nerd, dork, or dweeb? All, or all of the above? I am none. I'm a geek. I would. I call, one, I call myself a nerd and a geek. It's a geek because I love math and music and musical theater and sports and reading and history. Ooh, especially like government. Ooh, there's so many secrets in like government. And there's so many things that we think we have, which what we really don't. Like that's the whole point of what I'm taking the class in this year. But besides that point. I'm a nerd and a geek. There we go. Um, vampires or fairies? Um, vampires? Um, <laughs> shapeshifters or angels? Angels. Um, spirits or werewolves? Werewolves? Zombies or vampires? Vampires. Love triangle or forbidden love? Love triangle. Um, and finally, full on romance and book or action packed with a little, oops, or with a few love scenes mixed in, action. I hate romance novels. Ooh, hate it. It's why I couldn't get through the kissing booth or to all the boys I love you for. Like, uh uh, no. Eh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to comment down below what you guys want to also see. Or if you like this tag or anything like that. Um, make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it. Um, I encourage you to. That way I know if you guys actually enjoyed this content. And subscribe. That way you can see my videos every time I upload. And make sure you hit the bell so you get notified. Um, I love you all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.